today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Kid Robot Looney Tunes mini series blind box figures. Collect them all and hopefully in the course of this video, Spots is going to collect all of them because we're going to have a look at a whole case of the mini series. There's the top of the box. That's all folks. No, not yet. Spots actually still going to have to open these up. But we've got Looney Tunes down below, a classic interpretation of, of uh, Bugs Bunny down below there. Comes to us from the folks over at Kid Robot. To check out more from Kid Robot, you can go to www.kidrobot.com. Okay, so what we have to do, as we do with these other uncasings, is that we're going to have to open up the flap, bring the box just forward. Don't worry, it's not going to look like this for the rest of the review. And we're just going to bring the flap down, which can sometimes be difficult, but this is basically what we want to have it look like when we open the boxes up here. And when you go into a comic book store, or any store that really sells these, that's exactly what it's going to look like. Now, with Kid Robot, they're a little bit, uh, well, you get more per case for like um, as opposed to other uh, like blind box figures. So you're going to get four across, you're going to get five uh, this way. That gives us 20. We're going to look at 20 boxes inside this casing. Uh, just removing one of them here. There is what the front of the box is going to look like. Looney Tunes mini series. Side of box features some of the classic characters here. Yosemite Sam, Foghorn, Leghorn, the Wile E. Coyote, Porky Pig. Not quite sure what that one is. And then we've got uh, Marvin the Martian on the other side. Daffy Duck, Sylvester the Cat. It looks like Bugs Bunny and Drag. The Tasmanian Devil. Another, well, Sylvester the Cat. And then we've got, I said that was Sylvester, that's Pepe Le Pew. Sylvester the Cat, and the Roadrunner. And then on the bottom, www.kidrobot.com. By the way, it's also recommended for ages 8 and up. Alright, so let's open these up. We're going to go through 20 boxes of these. So if you guys want to grab a sandwich, grab a drink. This is going to be a longer video. But I know you guys love these uncasing, unboxing videos. Ah, there we go. There's the first box seal broken finally and inside we have a foil bag I'm gonna grab myself old red here who's gonna be joining us for this adventure and we're gonna cut the first bag open now not only with kid robot do you get the figures themselves but you also tend to get accessories inside as well martian the manhunter martian the manhunter marvin the martian we're not talking dc here marvin the martian comes with a ray gun and also, too, I guess presumably that is the same Marvin the Martian, but it's glow-in-the-dark. That's interesting. See how the helmet is all white, and his kind of skirt there is all white as well? I don't know if there's any variance to it, so I guess the, the Martian here, the Marvin, is a glow-in-the-dark version. Let's go ahead and put his blaster into his hand. Ugh. A little bit stiff there. There we go. Oh, I'm so angry. That's, I'm not even going to... I'm just going to stop right there. That was going to be a horrible impression of Mar Mar the Martian. Nice. Good way to start. We'll put him right there. They also stand very easily also. Let me mention that in this part of the review. They do stand very easily. All of them also have seals on the front. So we're going to have to cut the seals every time we open these. Box number two. And we're always just going to have to start throwing them, heaving them to the floor because there's just not going to be enough room for all of them. And the next one we have kind of looks like a little devil gremlin. Any accessories? This one has no accessories. I'm less familiar with this particular one. This one's got like a little ear, like an eyebrow piercing. Uh, by the way, all the articulation on these, they have head swivels, their arms swivel. This one also has wings and a little tail on the back there. I'm not quite certain the name of this one. I do remember there was, I think there was a gremlin in the old classic Looney Tunes, but maybe this is from the later series. This is the only one I'm a little iffy on. At any rate, we'll put that one to the side. The next box. 
I love this artwork, by the way. This uh, the fact that the package is this this orange color, and then we've got the Looney Tunes in yellow up top there as well. Looney Tunes mini series. Okay, so box number three. Here we go. Here we go. Box number three, and you may, as over the course of this video, hear the boxes hitting the ground to the side. Just I gotta make I gotta free up some space here, fellas, ladies. We got another one. Another one of these little devil kind of gremlin characters. I'm not quite certain again name of them because uh, even on the box, you only get you get two in twenty chance of getting them. I actually got two in twenty. But it doesn't give you the names of the characters. So we got two of those. Box number three. I say box number three, it's actually box number four. And box number four gives us any accessories? No. See? Nothing. We've got Bugs Bunny in drag. And by drag, I mean. Well, he's really, really draggy. He's got his little dress going on there. It looks like there's a blouse. His makeup leaves something to the imagination. It's not, uh, I don't know, Bugs. Bugs has seen some hard times here, some real hard times. He has head swivel still, arms swivel. Bugs Bunny. I don't know if these actually are, now these are mini series, they all kind of bring something different. So as opposed to all the characters looking like they would normally, they all are kind of dressed differently. So like Daffy, for example, is dressed like the devil. Pepe Le Pew is dressed in a smoking jacket with a, a rose. Even like the Tasmanian devil has like an acne, uh, an acme, uh, acne, acne jar as well as he has braces. So they all kind of are different than just having the characters on their own. I'm wondering if maybe they ever did release these just solely as the characters, or maybe this is, you know, this is the only, this is the original and only way to get these characters. Bugs Bunny looks cool. A little iffy on the makeup there, but he looks pretty cool. Okay, so now we are finishing off the first row. Cut the seal on the front. Open up the box here. Maybe a little bit of participation from you guys. You guys can let me know who your favorite... Got another Bugs Bunny here. Who your favorite Looney Tunes character is? Is it Bugs Bunny? I know my dad used to really like Foghorn Leghorn. I also like Foghorn Leghorn. I knew somebody that was also really big into... Uh, Oh, what was I'm trying to think of the mouse here? The little Mexican mouse. It's going to come to me. It's going to come to me. In the meantime, this box feels a little weighted, a little more weighted. Speedy Gonzalez. Thank you. Thank you for whoever was just shouting that out me. It was very loud, too. I'm kind of stopped for a second. I'm like, what is that noise? Oh, right. Somebody's trying to tell me something. Yes, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, Speedy Gonzalez. This would be box number six. And where is his... Oh, there's the accessory. I don't really need to technically open up the accessory because it's the same one as we got before. This is Martian... I want to keep saying Martian Manhunter. This is Marvin the Martian. I also didn't mention that he's got a little tear on the side of his eye. That's kind of sad. I hope nobody's done anything to his home world. Not only would that make him angry, but apparently it's made him also very sad. Put him to the side. This one doesn't stand as well. And we'll put also his blaster to the side. Try not to lose it. I really kept, should have kept going this way, but now it looks like I'm kind of taking it from either side. Bring up the next box. So yes, let me know your favorite Looney Tunes character down below. Maybe you're just a maybe you're just somebody that loves Bugs Bunny, like. Nothing wrong with that. Speaking of Foghorn Leghorn, there's Foghorn Leghorn. It looks like he is Colonel Saunders, or at least he's wearing like a Colonel Saunders outfit. He always say, I say, I say, boy. That little weasel, that... 
when the weasel will always be attacking him or attacking over oh, that dog. Oh, that stupid dog. I don't think he ever said stupid, but he is dressed. I'm presuming, presuming that he's dressed as a colonel. Maybe Colonel Saunders, which would be fitting enough. I like this one. I like the expression on his face, too. So, like, arrogant. Another reason why Foghorn and Leghorn was so, so, so funny. Because he was just so arrogant. Okay, so we are almost finishing up the second row. If you are keeping tabs currently. After this, and I don't want to get ahead of myself, but after this, we only have two boxes left on the second row, and then we're going to start the third row. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Okay, so this one is going to have another accessory with it. We can just go ahead and open that up, just like that. There we go. Okay, so we got the Tasmanian Devil. Kind of a younger Tasmanian Devil, because he's got... Well, that's not necessarily true. Just because he has acne motion sickness. Oh, motion sickness. I actually thought that was acne cream. He's got motion sickness. He's also got braces, but that does not make him young. He could just be an adult. Some adults I know have had braces. This one feels like it's rattling a little bit. Still retains all the same articulation. I, well, that's not true. That's not true. He doesn't really technically have head articulation because it seems like his whole head is his body. We can put him to the side. He won't hold this either, the motion sickness, but we can just kind of have it with him. Spot really should get around to showing you guys my collection one of these days. I kind of have all the, kind of like the kid robots and all the uh, vinyl figures. I kind of have those all grouped by their own category. Still got room on the shelf, so I'll add these guys onto that shelf as well. Okay, so getting down to the down to the wire here, as we look at the second last figure from this row, and through that, as I've now made a mess of this, this bag here, through that, there we go, through that, we've got ourselves another double. Because I mean, really, there are there's ten if I'm reading this right. If my math is what it used to be, five on one side. No, six on one side. See, I told you my math isn't good. Twelve. Twelve on the other side there. But there's twenty. So, I mean, there that's another eight. That could be potentially doubles. In this case, we got another double of the Tasmanian Devil, complete with the Acme Motion Sickness. Put him over there. Okay, so this is the last box from the second row. For a second, I almost couldn't find my knife. That's one thing you don't want to lose. It's a knife with an extended blade. Don't be like feeling around in the dark for us. I don't even know why you would be feeling around in the dark for a knife, but turn the light on for that. Please do yourself a favor. Don't, don't make it, don't make things messy. I think that's the, that's the rule we can take away from this review. Don't think, don't make things messy. We got ourselves another foghorn leghorn as the, the kernel. I wonder if I could get the 11 herbs and spices from him. I wonder if he would tell me. He'd probably say, I, I, I don't think so, boy. Okay, so now we're down to the second last row. Got the seal on the back. Ugh. My fingers get so tender after I've been opening up all these boxes. A lot of tearing flaps and... It's a, it's a difficult job, but somebody's got to do it. And we got ourselves any accessories in here? Nope. Hello? Hello. No, nothing in there. And this one, I guess, is the more accurate, closest thing to the original Looney Tunes character. Although he's kind of got more of a metal. Can you see that? Like his stomach, his arms, legs kind of have almost a pearl metallic color scheme to it. And he's got one feather. And he's got a big smile on his face. So I'm kind of thinking we won't find Tweety anywhere in this box. Well, we will. He's, he's probably in there. Uh, head does still rotate. No, actually, this head doesn't rotate. But the arms still rotate. The head looks like it's... Unless it's... Oh, it's just a little stiff. Excuse me. A correction. Sylvester's head is just a little stiff. We're so 
PC nowadays, politically correct that is, that some of these characters I don't think could do well anymore. Porky Pig with his stuttering and I guess arrogance still still happens to this day, so Foghorn Leghorn could be okay. Bugs Bunny dressing as drag, maybe I don't know. Maybe that kind of stuff doesn't fly anymore. I don't know. All I know is I enjoy the cartoon. That's all that matters. That's that's all that matters to me at least. The cartoon is enjoyable. I could still watch Looney Tunes to this day and be enjoyed and enjoy myself. Okay, so we're gonna just cut the Whoa, let's not drop. Hold on, let's pick that up. We could not do the rest of this review with any bit of justice if I had dropped the flower, because the flower actually has to go into Pepe Le Pew's mouth. I like that. Loved Peppy Le Pew. Always was chasing that cat. Cat had some horrible luck. That cat was always getting a white stripe down its back, and that just drove Peppy Le Pew mad. Also, usually, the, the poor cat was also doused with something smelly. Because that apparently is what Peppy Le Pew needs. He needs something with a, a white stripe down its back and something that smells. Also, one of my favorites, too, was Pepe Le Pew. The other one would be, like, the cat would be s scrambling to run away, and Pepe Le Pew was just like... Dee, 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 dee. Speaking French, au français. Okay, so now back, now that we've re retrieved the flower, I could not have gone on the rest of this review with that flower on the ground. Nor, nor could any of you have continued watching this video with the fact that that rose was on the floor. On the floor, so I had to pick it up. I had to pick it up. Okay, the next box. You should only, if you had a chance to see my floor space, it is just covered in boxes right now. But I push on. I push on. Like any dedicated reviewer, I push on. Speaking of pushing on, the next figure that we have is this one. Actually, comes with. Ooh, that's. That's funny, a little thing of gasoline, a little gasoline tank. You little devil. Literally, you little devil. There's Daffy Duck, one of my personal favorites as well, Daffy Duck, dressed like the devil. You're despicable. Head does rotate, arms rotate, tail not so much, it's just a rubbery plastic. What a devil. Okay, so we'll put him to the side. Basically, we're all we're putting these all to the side. I'm trying to keep this area viewable space as clear and debris free as I possibly can. That being said, we're almost getting down to the second last row being gone. Let's see which ones we're still missing. Yosemite Sam, uh, Porky Pig, Wile E. Coyote. We don't have those yet. And this side, the only one we're missing is the Roadrunner. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Let's open this one up. I don't know if we've also met our quota for... No, we have not. I was going to say met our quota for doubles. We still have a couple... I think a, this might be the last double. There might be a couple more doubles still in there. But we have the Devil... I was going to say, I thought the little swoosh marks on his chest was different, but no, it's the same. Same as the other one. Always something happening to his bill, too. Like, gunshot, it would be spun around, it might blow up, and you know his face is inside the open bill. Daffy never had it easy. He wasn't as well-liked... Well <coughs> excuse me. He wasn't as well-liked as Bugs Bunny. And let's open up the final box. Spotted a bit of a tickle there for a second. That could have been disastrous if that kept happening. All right, and we're kind of getting, well, we got another new one. Any other accessories in there? No. This might potentially be the most accurate uh, non-altered character from this wave. You get the Roadrunner doesn't have anything else on him. He's just kind of looks a little cocky, to be honest. You know, with a look on your face like that, Roadrunner, I kind of hope the coyote gets you. Same posability. Head rotates. Arms rotate. Nothing on the tail. It's just rubber. Let's 
see if we get ourselves a coyote to go along with that Roadrunner. Got the seal on the front. There we go. Open up the box. There we go. Throw it on the floor. There we go. Opening up the foil bag reveals to us Porky Pig, complete with officer's baton. Little club there. The baton kind of sits a little loose in his hand. Is it me, or does Porky Pig kind of have like a really teed off expression on his face? That would be ticked off, ladies and gentlemen. This is maybe one pig you don't want to mess with. I like it, though. He looks a little bit different than what he does on the box. Let's flip it around here. No, nah, maybe not quite. It doesn't have some of the the black coloring there. Like, there's no black outlining or anything like that. But I could probably go in there with, like, a very steady hand and a black marker, and I could probably do that myself. Okay, we are now down to four boxes left of the Looney Tunes Miss Mini Series from the folks over at Kid Robot. I hope you guys have certainly enjoyed this video. I'm not packing up shop just yet, but I'm kind of just, you know, when you start planting the seed with people and you have guests over, you kind of start dropping those little subtle hints like, well, you know, um, I hear it's I hear it's going to be raining soon. It's going to start raining soon. Kind of hoping that they will say, oh, really? Well, we better get going. And then you're kind of like, yes. And then somebody starts a conversation again and you're like, no. Got another Porky Pig. Not quite. That's all, folks. There's still three left. We're still missing. Let's do a quick check here. Missing Yosemite Sam and the Coyote. And we're good on this side. So we're only really missing two. So if things go well, knock on uh, cardboard, I guess. If things go well, we'll get both figures and then we'll get one other double. And the next bag goes to us. The bag was kind of stuck to itself. The next bag reveals to us. Of course, we've got a couple of pistols there as well. We got ourselves Yosemite Sam, which again, kind of like the Roadrunner, doesn't have any bells and whistles to him, doesn't have a different costume. It's just Yosemite Sam. Tar Nation, he would say. This, you know what? I'm looking at the other ones here. This one could be my favorite. Loved always the look of Yosemite Sam. I hate you, rabbit, he'd always say. Of course, he would say that only in episodes that had rabbit in it. You know, Bugs Bunny wasn't in the episode, which I, I think every Yosemite Sam had to... Maybe, maybe not. I was going to say maybe he always had to have Bugs Bunny in the episode. Yeah, I'm sure there were other episodes where Bugs Bunny wasn't in the episode. And for good measure, we got ourselves another Yosemite Sam. There they are, the two of them right there. Awesome figures. Loving these figures. I grew up with Looney Tunes, so like all this stuff, just so cool. All right, so like the last figure that we had a look at, or are going to be having a look at, Coyote. Okay, Pepe Le Pew, Sylvester are both one of per case. Roadrunner is one per case. Coyote is one per case. This is an unaltered, hopefully unaffected case. So based on my logic, which sometimes is hit or miss, based on my logic, I'm going to assume that this is the Coyote. Let's see how my deducing does. Drum roll, please. Okay, we got a bomb. That's promising. And we also got ourselves the Coyote. And anything else in there? No, nothing else. What an awesome looking piece. Hmm, which one's looking like at the set? There are so many good ones in this set. There's the Coyote. Some worse for wear, I'm afraid. He's seen some 
bad damage as a result of trying to kill that blasted Roadrunner. I always wondered, he had money, or maybe he had a credit. Could he not buy something that was food related, like a vending machine that had food or, I don't know, all this money, all this credit. Maybe he just had a big tab that always piled up. All these bills and invoices that would come to his, his cave. He'd never paid them, and yet somehow they continued to let him order stuff from the catalog. By far, this is probably my favorite. Maybe a very close tie. I think these two are probably tied as my personal favorites from this set. Sam and Coyote. Okay, so let's kind of revisit what we've done here. Uh, we'll just kind of look at maybe the non-duplicates. Uh, in this in this case, we got ourselves the Coyote, Wild E Coyote, which by the way has the same head articulation, arm articulation. So we got ourselves the Coyote, Yosemite Sam, two of my personal favorites. We got ourselves, there's Porky Pig with his baton, a very angry police officer, Porky Pig. We got ourselves Sylvester the cat, put him right there. Peppy Le Pew. We got ourselves Foghorn Leghorn. The Tasmanian Devil with braces. We got the one and only Roadrunner. Uh, some other non-duplicates. We got ourselves Daffy Duck, which we got two of, just like the box told us. We got Drag Bugs Bunny. Oof, Bugs. Better get some help, my friend. This one is the only one I'm a little iffy on. It's like a gremlin or like a flying bat of some sort. I don't really know. But we got two of those. Pardon my arm. And we got ourselves the glow in the dark, uh, Marvin the Martian. Uh, I certainly would love to see Kid Robot release another wave of these. Um, maybe like a Gossinger. Gossinger? Was that the big red monster? Love to see him released. I'm trying to think of other ones I'd love to see released in this set. But they all kind of bring a lot to the different the, to the table. You know, some of them are dressed up like Bugs Bunny and you know Foghorn Leghorn. Some of them are kind of, kind of more au natural, like Sylvester the Cat, Love and the Wily e. Coyote, and uh, Yosemite Sam. Still, also one of my personal favorites from this set too. If you were to ask me the question, where would you get said collectibles from? Well, the best bet I would say is check out your local comic book store. If they don't have them, ask the guy or girl behind the desk if they can order them in for you. These are fun little collectibles from the folks over at Kid Robot. Today we're having a look at an entire case, a whole case we did, of the new Looney Tunes mini series from Kid Robot. Stay tuned guys, Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.